organization that is organizing protest is definitely undermining the peace and unity of our dear country. This government, this country, so, this country is just very funny. This country, I don't understand. What is all these warnings for? Because me, I'm not understanding anything. What are you people warning for? What is all this warning for? What are you warning people for? Why are you threatening people? Are we no longer in democracy? Is this government a military government where people are not allowed to say their mind? Where people obey the last order? What is going on in this country? I'm not understanding this government anymore. What is wrong in people exercising or expressing how they feel about the government? What is wrong in them doing that? Why all this complain here and there? The last time I checked, this government is still democrat. We are still in democratic governments. Government of the people, by the people, and for the people. This is not a military go government. Government of the people. Of the people, you promised to be there for people. By the people, people gave you the mandate, the power to be there by the people. And for the people, the mandate to be there and represent the people. This government is for everybody. Government of the people, for the people, and by the people. For the people, sorry. So what is what is what what is all this all this all this all these threats? I've been here everywhere you took head. You don't even want to listen to these people. Listen to the people, listen to those people that gave you the mandate to be there. Government of the people, by the people, for the people. You are there for the people, for the masses. The people that gave you the mandate to go and represent us, no matter the level, no matter the capacity that you are representing, you are there representing the people that gave you the mandate. Why are you now shutting them up? Why don't you want them to talk? Why? Because I'm not understand. People have been complaining bitterly. A lot has gone wrong. A lot, a lot of things has gone wrong in this country. A lot. Why can't you guys prove a solution? Why can't you listen to people, try to understand the area they are coming from, then prove a solution or call the people that are trying to protest? Say some kind things that people would like to hear. Not telling somebody you are not allowed to protest. You are disrupting the peace and the peace and harmony of the country. We do respect Mr. House of Red Member. You are mad. You are stupid. We do respect you are you you were you were Nikon Cope. How dare you say such a thing to your to, to, to the people? That you are in that position is with their mandates. Now they are not okay. People are not comfortable. People are not happy with the way things are going in the country. And you are there telling them, don't ever disrupt the peace and harmony of the country. Who told you there's peace in the country? Who told you there's harmony anywhere? What stops you from saying, okay, please... What is the problem? How do we help? How do we arrange? How do we amend? How do we put things in order? Can't you do that? Can't you do that, Mr. House of Rep member? Can't you do that? This country, it, we, we all own this country. We are not in, in any military regime, for goodness sake. Now, all of us get this country. With due respect again, I oh got it the very, very stupid for saying that. You're not smart. How dare you? 
For goodness sake, everybody, we have the right to exercise our feelings in this country. We are still in democracy. It's not even a military. Even if it is a military, military self get their own. Military, sometimes they listen to you. This is democratic, democratic government, for goodness sake. And you are making it look as if we are in some kind of, in some kind of, in some kind of uh, 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 cage that people are not allowed to, to, to talk. People are not allowed to exercise their, 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 their rights. People are not allowed to do anything. Meanwhile, we've been shouting and been shouting and been shouting. People have been talking and talking and talking. A lot of things has gone so high. A bottle of, a, a liter of fuel is almost 1,000 naira. A bag of rice is almost 100,000 naira. Tomato, a, a, a seed of, a, 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 of tomato, I be one seed of tomato, is 100 or 200 naira. Everything is on the high side. And people are trying to agitate. People are trying to create awareness for government to be aware, for government to listen to them because maybe all this why people are writing on social media, you guys thought maybe they were just joking. So they want to create awareness. They want to bring your attention to it. And you are telling them they should not disrupt the peace of the, of the nation, peace and harmony. When people are dying of hunger, when people are committing suicide on a daily basis, when things are not working in order, everything is on, is on the high side. Have you thought about the poor masses? People that they are earning is not even nothing. Have you checked about, have you, have you talked about those people? Is it because you are comfortable? You are okay. When you collect allowance and, and whatever, you will swallow and eat and feed very, very well. You do not know how other people are feeling. From the comfort of your, of your, of your, of your, of your, what, wherever you're coming from, you are telling people not to protest. Threatening them that what they will see. <laughs> oh God, I take means you. Don't push people to the wall. Do not push people. If you push people, whatever you see, you take. Don't push people. Nonsense.